Uh, the biggest challenge that we have at the farm at the moment is uh, climate change because it has reduced the amount of rainfall that we receive uh, for the last 10 years. We're seeing that the rain is becoming, uh, we can, it doesn't come with a predictable uh, pattern. There are years where we receive enough rainfall and there are years where the rainfall is so minimal that we risk uh, crop failure. So that is one of the challenges. We have not been able to access technologies that other countries are enjoying, like uh, irrigation, first and foremost because it is expensive. Uh, gene editing tools for crops that can withstand harsher conditions, we have not been able to, achieve, to, to uh, enjoy those technologies. I think most of the consumers don't have uh, the reality of what is going on in the farms because most of them are in urban areas. Uh, they only consume food. So I'd like to tell the consumers that we produce safe food because we also raise our families in the farm. They eat the produce directly from what we harvest. So they eat is safe and it is good. And we are looking into producing more food for you guys out there. If some of these tools that we're using right now are going to be taken away from us, I think the world is going to starve because uh, there's no way we're going to feed the, uh, the crops without some of these inputs, like fertilizer. Uh, every year we'll be removing nutrients from the soil and we're not putting anything back into the soil. So I think most of these inputs need to be, to be used and optimized so that it doesn't affect the environment and we can still produce food for the growing population and for the whole world. Looking into the past, where my dad started farming, he started in a humble way. He, my dad is not educated. He was a mechanic, he had to drop out of school in order to sustain his family. But he had a passion for farming. And uh, during his working as a mechanic, he was able to make some money and he went into farming, started leasing small pieces of land. And uh, step by step, through hard work and determination, uh, with little support from the government, he was able to achieve so much. And uh, the farm that we're in right now was not inherited, it was from his sweat. And he has really embraced technology. He has brought us, me and my younger brother, into the farm. And we're taking the necessary steps that he took for us to take the farm to a better future. And I think everyone in the country, the young farmers in the country, can also work hard and uh, ensure that the sustainability and uh, the food security of the country is achieved through their determination.